Hello everybody, welcome to the video. I'm Viceroy and today we're taking a look at Infection Free Zone. So Infection Free Zone has been out for a little while already. I recently bought it, played a little bit and thought I would do a video on it. So in a world ravaged by insidious infection, humanity's last hope lies with us and any survivors we find in the Infection Free Zone. But be aware, the zone isn't just a sanctuary, it's a battleground where survival is non-negotiable. The infected lurk in the shadows, hungry for flesh. The infected is twisted, a remnant of what used to be our friends, family and neighbours. Their hunger knows no bounds and their numbers grow with each passing day. So as a new arrival in the infection zone, our job is basically to survive. Features of this game, dynamic world where you get to play in a real world city map. So you can go in your own neighbourhood, you can go to somewhere you've never been before, it's entirely up to you. So you can explore familiar streets or venture into uncharted territory. So construct shelters, farms and defenses and balance resources wisely because they are finite as you can imagine in a ravaged world. And uh, there is a day night cycle as well. So, you know, safe in the day, not so much at night. Would you like us to propose a map for you based on your location? No, because we've already have a map. So I've chosen somewhere that's uh, somewhat familiar just to see uh, what it's like, because I know where the shops are and all that, so we will see how accurate it is. So we go for new game, and we're going to go to Kefili. So Kefili, all buildings, 5,208 buildings, uh, buildings on center tile, which is our main starting location, 655, 3% forest. Don't know if that's a good number uh, or not yet, we'll find out, I guess. Uh, 720 points of interest, um, that seems pretty decent. No hardware stores though, but we got fuel facilities, um, educational facilities, medical facilities, shops and restaurants. So we should get a fair bit of what we need to survive. 1,215 roads, so good when we find a vehicle. 1.2% water, might be enough I guess. I don't know if we use the water for like getting clean water or anything, or whether it's just sort of like a barrier. Temperature 3 to 15 degrees, so that's not too bad. 79 expeditions are available. Not sure where they are yet, but we'll find out. And 1 to 10 vehicles are potentially salvageable. Difficulty level on this area is easy. Here we go. So, game customization. Zone name, infection free zone of Kefili. We'll keep tutorial on because uh, I'm going to need to learn how to play it myself. And we'll keep story events on as well. So difficulty levels medium. Even though it says easy down there, I suppose the tile is easy, but then we get to sort of change that with these factors here. We'll leave everything on medium down the middle, see how we get on. The world as we know it is gone. What we called the mad virus appeared out of nowhere. It made people turn extremely violent, aggressive, and unrestrainable. Soon later, the infected became bloodthirsty, more like vampires than human. There was chaos, panic, and war for survival. Desperate people were just as dangerous as the virus itself. Even our loved ones. We know this is how the world would go if this ever happened. The infection spread quickly throughout the entire globe. Every region, every country, every city. Drastic measures were taken to get rid of the infected, but they all failed. The last chance for those who seemed immune was to hide in underground shelters. Ones that we improvised in garages and basements. Loaded with food, water and air filtration systems. These were the places where we survived, sealed from the outside. For so long, we waited for any signal, any info that a cure had been found, or the situation stabilized. Instead, we listened as the world grew quiet. Dire times. Resources were becoming depleted. Life support systems were failing. And just as we were losing all hope, we received a distant call. To all survivors, the infection is in decline. Seek others and rebuild. 
This was the impulse we needed. There were others out there. We could come back to the surface. No more hiding. From the ruins of the old world, we will build our new home. Okay, select a building for your base of operations. Choices, choices, choices. I think we got to choose somewhere within this uh, non-white fogged circle. Like, is a big building a good idea to go for a first one? This seems very built up, so probably not the best place to choose. So I'm thinking we go for maybe this building, because it has... Oh, these both have the same amount of storage capacity. 27 living quarters. 372 storage. Which may be the maximum. Because there's a bit of a difference in size between these two buildings, yet uh, stats-wise it's the same. Seems like good place as any then. Let's go here. Yes. Operator, this is first squad leader. We made our way out. The neighborhood looks deserted. We'll have to scavenge the nearby buildings for any useful resources. Looks good. Okay. Find something to Turn on scavenge spots. view with V. Okay, so we got the question marks, so we need to scavenge. Select squad. Reporting. Scavenge buildings. Okay, let's start with this one then. So select, tack, move is right mouse button, shift and right mouse button is Q order, and then select multiple control and left click. Okay. Wait for them to scavenge the building. We're looking for. And collect a cancer HQ. Let's do it. Canned food and ammunition crates. Sir, the crates are in the HQ. We have to think what to scavenge first. It will be best to check some shops or warehouses. Shops or warehouses. Well, I know where some of those are. Okay. I'll point you where to go. <laughs> I will speak on behalf of the other citizens. Let us go and adapt the buildings to suitable shelters so we won't spend a single more night underground. Okay. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Yes, it does. So, this one is a fairly small building. Um, shelter. Here we go, we'll adapt that little building. So, one squad at the moment. So let's send those out, um, shift and right click, search a couple of buildings, oops, hang on, that one, 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 it's a nice little circle then isn't it, and then back to HQ, should maybe draft another squad, double the search capacity, send them, actually we probably should search the buildings around us first, shouldn't we, just in case there's any uh, infected hiding in the buildings. Okay, so that requires 14 wood. No more to find. And we have... How much wood do we have? Ah, there. Um, 49, so we're okay on wood. We have two oh, out of a potential six squads. Oh, there's some more food in that one. This is pretty accurate to, uh, to the area, to be fair. There's a castle... The roads all look pretty accurate. This one, not so much. Doesn't really exist, but still really good considering. Quite impressive. Operator, How are we doing? Left. So they're full. So each one of those is carrying the what they can carry. So they should come back to base. We're on the move. And then... Go back to finish scavenging. We're on the move. On my way. Clear. 
So far, so good. No infected. This building is completely destroyed. I wonder if we can scavenge, um, like, what's left of that building for resources. Like, building materials kind of thing. You can search hours too. So it's 1st of April 2029. Sunrise is 534. Sunset is 1837. Mood is decreasing. Currently good, but decreasing. Why is it going down? Many citizens do not have their own shelter. Okay, well, we'll, we'll fix that soon. As soon as this is finished, that should help with that. That building is fully... Uh, Scavenged and scouted. So sunset is at 18.37. So we have to be back in the HQ or in a safe area by that time because that's when the infected come out to play. Sir, the sun is getting low. We don't know what's going to happen during the night. We can continue our scavenging operations in the dark, but that will be way more dangerous than waiting until sunrise. Yeah, I wouldn't want to scavenge in the dark either in this kind of climate. Get back to HQ. Back in the HQ. The workers will return home too. Unarmed civilians should not walk after dark. Yeah, squads shouldn't be out. The civilians definitely shouldn't be. Stay safe. So tomorrow, then we'll search all these buildings. Cause this, if you think about it, if we could put like a fence around there, that'd be a nice little safe area. Okay, Let's but tomorrow, we're not going to do it today. <laughs> Let's speed up time a bit. Everybody's back in HQ. Is that still being built or have all the civilians gone back? Yeah, they've gone back. That's fine. Ooh, it's night time now. Scary times. Oh. Sir, just saw a group of they might not be aware of our presence yet. Get ready. Get ready to fight. There are some infected around here. Just in case. Select a squad to find the res uh, the source of the smoke. Okay. There are some infected around here. We'll speed up time until they show themselves again. So far so good, they're not coming near us. And sunrise? 534. Oh, incoming. They've spotted us. Okay, we've made somewhat light work of that. I imagine it gets much more difficult. <laughs> Anybody else going to come and attack us during the night? Just got to survive until 507. We're good. We're good. HQ is still in decent condition. Slight bit of damage, but not nothing too bad. And just like that, it's morning. Right. So they've moved into that building. So if we need to uh, scout that out now, we're going to have to get rid of them. Um, so you make a start on that. You make a start in this big building. If we won that building, though, we're going to have to go and attack those. Which is fine. And this is nearly finished now. There we go. So we need another building. So once this finish, it's finished, uh... This night was easy. But there are sure to be some infected around here. We should build some defenses before the next nightfall. Let's build a watchtower. Agree. Let's build a wooden tower. So I'm thinking this might be a bit too... Hmm. Yeah, let's repurpose that as well for um, shelter. Might take a little while, that's the only thing. Oh, 141 wood. Okay, maybe not. We'll repurpose this building. <laughs> that was a bit too big. What's this need? 11. That's much better. 11's good. Okay, these salts searched. You can continue searching the big building. Even tells you the address. That's cool.
So would you play somewhere familiar or would you go somewhere completely new? Let me know. Clear. Oh, we've got some resources, some canned food. Nice. How's your search going? Nearly 40%. This shouldn't take too long because it's only 11 wood. Roger. Yeah, so we'll clear this area first. So I believe you can build, yep, yeah, walls. It costs five wood each. How big are they? Way. Ah, okay, so it's a dragon. That's good. Drag to build. Can you build walls? Can you build gates? Yes, you can. Awesome. So yeah, we'll secure this area, I think. Build a fence around this area. And this can be like our main operating area. After you finish in there, have these guys in here. So imagine if you have two squads in one building, they search it quicker. Nice, so we have a couple of buildings that are um, that we can use now. So build a wooden tower. Where should we build it? Um, defenses, wooden tower. I'm thinking here. Yeah, that seems like a good place as any. You also now will get like attacked from over here. I'm thinking this side because like the there's a lot of buildings over here which in fact it could come from. So there, bit of like a pre-warning and pre-defense thing. 100% searched. Nice. Now do we send both squads in to clear this? Because they are quite close and you know in the night they're going to attack us. Okay, you guys go kill these. They look like a weak party, so it should be okay. And there's some resources in there we need, potentially. Are we getting along with the house? No, just over halfway done. Yeah, they made pretty light work of that, didn't they? Anybody injured? Slight injury with Anna Gray. Right. Do some more scavenging. We go here, Let's here, go. here. Well, actually, start that building. Operator. You start there. You action. also help Let's in go. there. And then go there. And you Receiving. go that way. Then back to HQ. Receiving. You back to HQ. So the green buildings, the ones we've taken over. Blue buildings, I'm guessing, are under construction. Oh, we need to send a squad to um into the smoke, don't we? Where was it again? Here. You guys go there. Oh, there's building materials in there. Hopefully they don't come across any infected on the way. That one's nearly done. Adaptation complete. Ah, good. We have some decent living quarters. So mood is increasing. 7% citizens live in too poor conditions. Right, we'll have to see if we can do anything about that. Don't know how yet, but we'll find out. Right then. What do we got here? Chief, we found some survivors. They've been living in terrible conditions for the last few years. We could bring them in, but will we be able to feed them? Um Yeah, let's uh let's not abandon them. them no more to find. What time is it? 18, 12, 19, 01, the sun goes down. Yeah, we should probably actually leave scavenging that building till tomorrow. Everybody get back to a HQ. Oh, is our watchtower done? It is. They have pistols. And bow and arrows. A primitive, slow, and ineffective ranged weapon made from an unsophisticated piece of wood and an improvised bowstring does not require firearm, uh, firearm ammo. 
Users can take care of the arrows themselves and reuse them. So I wonder if ammo is scavengeable or whether we can make our own at some point. I imagine we'll be able to make our own. Got some abandoned cars and things here too. And if they can be... Well, they haven't quite made it back. Okay, so if I leave the squad with them to help protect them, because if they get wiped out, they're not going to make it back to base, are they? Oh, incoming. It's almost nightfall. They can already see some infected coming out of their lair. Okay. Get ready to defend the uh Oh. Maybe ninja. Kill off the hordes, zero one. Come on, you can do it. Oh, see how much ammo they got, that's handy. Roger. Hopefully they stay safe. Waiting orders. Problem with this house is it's kind of on its own until we can get some defenses built. We will build another watchtower around this side tomorrow. It's a good idea, I think we'll do that actually. Uh wooden tower, we'll build it here. Nope, incoming. Ready for action. Come on, leave that house alone. Come towards the HQ. Come on. Uh-oh. Quick, go help. Operator. Take him down. Uh oh. Don't die. Just shoot him out the windows. As long as the structure stays in decent condition, we'll be okay. She definitely needs uh, medical attention, though. HP 5. Five days to recover. Oof. Ouch. Okay, they should stay in that house. Another horde coming. Watchtower should get these, though. Will they attack the watchtower? Yes, they will. It's got 2,000 hit points, also. It's not too bad. Another horde over there. And over. Oh crap, that's a big horde. Come on, you got this. I don't think they can hurt the people inside, providing the building stays in one piece. They're probably like shooting through barricaded windows and stuff. Four fifty-seven sunset hour, so we still got a little ways to go yet. I think we're okay. No pause just come out of that building. Small one though, so it's not too bad. Get up and burn your key. There we go, daytime. Back way. to base. Receive Back to base. We need some medical supplies. Reporting. We definitely need some medical supplies. Um. You search, 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 search. I don't think we have any medical supplies. Chief, many of our workers don't have any jobs. Send them to gather resources, to construct or to work at some of the buildings. Gather wood. We're gonna see. Gather metal? Ah, we can... Right, street lamps and things we can gather metal from. That's good. On my way. Good, good, good. Put some ammo in there. Building the watchtower. Good. Wonder how we get more survivors. Like, do we just randomly come across them, or is it predetermined when you're gonna get new Roger. additions to your camp? I'm not sure. What's this? Objectives, research panel, weather forecast. center. Oh, that's handy. Didn't know you could do that. Center on the HQ. Ready for action. Feel a bit. I don't feel right sending these out on patrols or whatnot because she will die instantly if they come across anything. Waiting orders. Oh, we need some medical supplies. What about these buildings? These are quite big, aren't they? Search these two buildings. 
Oh, drop off the stuff first. The and search these buildings. It's probably safe if you search these three buildings. Hopefully they'll be okay. Take over the vehicle with a squad. Ooh. Sir, just found a car that looks drivable. Let's try to make a run again. Gotcha. Okay. Car will be good. Um you go get the car. Don't die. That's your mission. So you have 41 metal in this area and 25 wood in that area. Not bad, not bad. We have a watch that one out to protect over there. We don't have enough ammo though to fully stock that. So hopefully we find some more ammo soon. Ready for action. Ready for the ride. God, I miss driving so much. This will help speed up our scavenging. And we can run over the infected if they get too close. I run over infected, I like it. A car's handy. Does there have a finite amount of fuel, I wonder? Well, yes. Fuel and condition. They can carry a lot of resources in the car. That's good. So you can go scavenging for quite a while, fill up the car, and then come back with like a lot more than what the squad could normally carry. Going there. Looking okay on the food front. Ammo is not too bad, I don't think. Don't have any bricks. So what do we need bricks for? Building, probably, but... So if we do gather bricks, can we gather that from, like... No more to find. Ah, okay. Um, gather bricks. So yeah, these piles of bricks, good to know. Chief, we found some seeds in one of the buildings. It looks like grain. There were some farming tools as well. Maybe we could use this to start cultivating the land again. Okay. Okay. Bring that in. We should have a place where we can cook meals for our citizens. This will make our people much happier too. Okay. Okay. Build a cookhouse. There's nothing left. And build food cookhouse. Storage capacity twenty four. Ooh, that's quite a high cost for that building. What have we got? 21, 24, 24, 27. Let's build a cookhouse in there then. Might be too small, but hopefully not. Receiving. On my way. Oh, she's healing slowly. That's good. Another four days to full recovery. I'd still rather find some medical supplies or just in case. Ready for action. And you search there and there. Oh. We got bag of grain. Oh, yeah. So build fields. Food fields. Um, hold left mouse button to rotate. There's nothing left. Ah, okay. So bring the fields down. Be nice if it was a button Roger. to rotate. So we put it like that. Oops. Yeah, I would have preferred the button to rotate these. Because once you rotate it, if it's not valid where you rotate it to, it just defaults back <laughs> to... Yeah, that'll have to do. Fit them a bit closer, but... This is the infection-free zone of food. Please respond. <laughs> like how they muffle out the name of the place. The infection is in the Seek a host and rebuild. Is somebody there? This. The infection is in decline. Seek host and rebuild. Can you hear me? Hear me. This. The infection is in decline. It's like an automated message, isn't it? Hello? Hello. Please respond. Over. This. The infection is in decline. Seek this and rebuild. Working. Start winding down for some rest. Gather wood. Get some more wood. 
Um, switch channel. Chief, this is the same transmission we received before, but the signal is even weaker. Our walkie-talkies are not powerful enough for long-range communication. We have to build a large antenna. A local library or university would be a good place to search for information on how to make it work. Makes sense. Okay. Let's go on my way. So library is here in this building. How far away is it? Well, it's not too far actually. The moon seems so close to the earth tonight, reflecting the sunlight. The sky is perfectly clear. It's almost as bright as the day. There should be mm -hmm. no infected on the street tonight. That's good. It means we can continue working through the night. Good for us. That's good. <laughs> that car is really handy, isn't it? I wonder how long the fuel lasts, though, because it doesn't seem to have gone down yet, but it looks like it goes down in thirds. What's in the car? So we have canned food. Is anybody working? No, nope. we'll just keep the squads out then, that's fine. No workers. They're all scavenging. I see. We manually redistribute them. Cook, 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 cook. Oh crap. Thank you, go help. No, we lost somebody. Already died. <laughs> Building clear. So we have to uh, replenish now. Waiting orders. Going there. Any medical supplies? Actually, you may as well go over to the Ready library. It's probably going to be somebody in the library. I'm sending two squads for that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to send two squads for that one. Doesn't look like a house, it looks like a shipping container, that one, doesn't it? Receiving. Reporting. Okay. Replenish. Leave the car. Operation. You guys, the car's now yours. Since you're a full squad. On my way. We're on the move. Receiving. Right. Go search the library. Let's do it. Take the car that was better, isn't it? You guys search this building. And then this one, then this one. And then this one, this one, this one. Nice circle back to HQ. Another one incoming. Oh, board. Or is um Iron Town, okay. They'll stay in the buildings overnight because they don't like the light. This house is infected. We need uh, they, they took care of it. They, they did okay. I could do a repairing. And that could do a repairing. So the civilians still won't work at night, even though the moon is out. Like a full moon. I wonder why that is. Still don't feel safe, I guess. Bring scientific materials to the HQ. Reporting. Or you do that automatically, won't they? Ooh. Sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? Going there. And it's now daytime. 
Go civilians. There's nothing left. Search done. Waiting orders. All the stuff, bring it on back. After you do that, search this, 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 and this. So then building the fields. Roger. Roger. We need a workspace where we can experiment and re-engineer all the pre-pandemic technology. We could store all the books there too. Let's build a research center and assign the most technical minds there. Research center. Okay. Okay. Let's do research. this. Research. Research. Search done. Three, four, four, three, four, five. Let's go there. It's a little bit bigger. Tiny bit bigger. Building work done. No building work done. Finish the fields. Nice. So this yields um three. Mood is Clear. down because a citizen died. It makes sense. Many citizens <clears throat> many citizens do not have their own shelter. Well, let's fix that, shall we? You are now a shelter, and... You are now a shelter. And this has been repaired. No workers. We have three, um, three workers. There we go. Fixed it. Will that squad been replenished yet? Operator. Yes. Jessica Rivera has joined the squad. Adapted. Car's almost full, so they'll probably take that back then. Oop, board way. There's nothing left. Where's the hoard? Ah, there. Adaptation done. Looks pretty weak as far as hoards go, so I think it's okay. Wait, oh, no, they still haven't replenished. Now they can. Because you have free citizens. They got through those pretty quick, didn't they? Are full. Pockets are not full yet. Right, metal. Let's get all no these cars. Job done. Six unemployed citizens. Okay, so we got maximum farming. Let's add another one to building then. Some more to scavenging. Let's do it. Let's do it. And we've got two leftover scientists when this is finished. I think we're doing okay. Some more bricks we can gather there. No more to Food preparation will need some far when the cookhouse is finished. It's going slow going. So we'll take two off scavenging and add two to building this. Yeah, done a bit quicker. Area cleared. Well done, beeps. Waiting orders. Um, you guys search here, 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 here. Hopefully we don't come across any too strong hordes. What time is it? 18.30. Ooh, almost time to go back to base. No more to find. Roger. Yeah, we should probably call everybody back to base. 19. Yep. All squads return. All squads return to base. On my way. These guys will get back quick because of the car. I think everybody else is back. Good. Infected incoming. You go in that house. So they got somebody to defend them. You guys stay in HQ. 32 out of 27. It is overpopulated, isn't it? Once he's uh, finished, that should solve that issue. Okay. Will we survive the night? Oh, that's a lot of hordes. Damn. <laughs> That is going to go down pretty quickly. Let's 
squad. Go. Come on, Wooden Tower. You got him. You can take him down. So if we send these out... Come on. Come on. Kill them all. Quick, run into base. <laughs> run into HQ. Go, go, go. Nice. Well, that definitely needs repairing tomorrow. Probably not a good idea to do it now. Probably will lose it if it's not repaired, though. What's time sunrise? 5.30. It's now the 5th of August. Or day 5 August. Do we need to repair that? Not just normal wood. Horde, oh, Horde might be spotted, but the sun's about to come up, so it doesn't matter. Not today, at least. The there we go. some buildings we could acquire some wood metal and bricks for other constructions we would have more space for other constructions as well or just a clear line of fire deconstruct okay let's deconstruct the building that. um let's deconstruct this building we finished the, the kitchen done. yet nope and then slowly not quite I mean, deconstructing buildings is probably going to give us the most resources. Building repurposed. Yay, building adapted. Building adapted. So we have people now working in the cookhouse, good. We've got people working in the fields, good. So it's three, three, and three. But we can research um, fertilization techniques to double the... Double the yield, good. Oh, research. Um... It's not finished yet. Oh, it is finished. Hang on. So research. Basic antenna. Start. So it takes 8 hours, 53 minutes and uses one scientific materials. Can we queue them? Not enough scientific materials to start research. Ah, okay. Right. Building adapted. Oh, squads, uh, let's go back out and do some scavenging. With squad number two. Receiving. You go over this way. On my way. Job done. You're well away from any potential holes, aren't we? Where's the horde? Ah, and that building there, and that building there. Receiving. We're on the move. Clear. So you don't need the guys to go into that building. We're staying clear of that one. That's okay. There's nothing left. No more to find. We're looking on shelter. We're good. We're good on shelter. So mood should get a little bit better. Poor conditions. I mean, it is a zombie apocalypse. Expedition overview. Building clear. There's nothing left. Warehouse. Ooh. Search done. Bag of grain, ammunition crates, basic tools, and fertilizer. Fuel canisters. Might be Building worth clear. taking a detour over there. Seems we have the car. On my way. So we got a shop or restaurant there. And we have lots of shops or restaurants down here because this is the high street. Oh, medical supplies. Sports shop. Yeah, send the car over to get some medical supplies. Search done. And search these two stores as well. Time to 
Search done. Oh, give me loads of time. 18. Oh. Go back to HQ. We're on the move. Everybody back to HQ. Is that repaired? It is indeed. Good. So you squad go in there. You stay in HQ. Because at least if they're in there, they can help protect this area. These are in there, can help protect this area. Go watch that are here. Watch that are there. The only thing that's not being protected is the research center. Which isn't ideal. Maybe we should send a squad to the research center. Just in case. Because the watchtower can cover these buildings. We don't want to lose that, do we? And now we wait. It's cool how you can destruct buildings for materials. Really handy mechanic there. Eighteen twelve, nearly. Oh, hang on. Five fifty four. It's now morning. Survived another night. No attacks this night, though. So that's good. Building repurposed. Building adapted. So it's all the buildings you know readapted for stuff. Capacity on the HQ is looking okay. Right. Where's car squad? Reporting. On car squad. There's some medical stuff to find. Is also search that and that. No hordes nearby. Nope, we're good. They must have moved on. Because so I think there was one in this area, wasn't there? Small building, so it shouldn't take long. Clear. Sir, the winter is coming. The days will be shorter. The farms won't produce any more food. We should brace ourselves. This might be the hardest days of the year. Prepare for winter. Let's prepare for winter. Clear. Chief, we found some medical supplies. They'll definitely come in handy. Now we'll be able to give first aid to the wounded. But if we want to heal people more efficiently, we'll need to build a med bay. Okay. A med bay sounds like a good idea. We'll think of that. Red Bay does sound like a good idea. Receiving. Well, I think we're okay on food because we got 57 canned food, four, four food rations, but at least we got plenty of backup food when the primary source goes. That's not too bad. Day 6, September. No more to find. Right. Any more specialist buildings? Yeah, search this one and this one. On my way. Now we're ready to build an antenna. Once it's operational, we'll be ready to receive distant transmissions again and broadcast some invitations ourselves. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Build an antenna. Um, other? Ah, yes, other. So we want that closer HQ so it can be defended. Requires 20 raw metal. How many raw metals do we have? 19. We're good. We're good. Reporting. We're on the move. Roger. Who was that? Uniformed services facility. Ooh, that means there'd be some weapons in there. Definitely want to search that. Search that, and then this, 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 then this, and then back to HQ. Yeah, riot gear, shotgun, assault rifle, pistols, that's all going to be good stuff if we can find any of it. 
We almost decommissioned, uh, deconstructed a building. We're not far away. And the antenna is coming along nicely. Probably should purpose these buildings for something, but I don't know what yet. So if we go for a warehouse, it's going to cost 44 wood, but it does carry a lot. Clear. It would store a lot even. This would store even more, but it'll cost 132 wood to adapt, so it's quite a bit in there. Adapt to... Ah, so you can move your headquarters, okay. We don't want to do that yet. They loaded up the car with a lot of food, haven't they? Fair play. Fair play indeed. The construction is coming along. Not far till 1812 to sunset. That car's going to come back to drop off all the resources they have because they have a lot. Ah, uh, so close. Okay, um, 1812. Yeah, you guys should probably wait. It's almost night time. Where's the other squad? All squads, return to base. Just send a message out, be easier, wouldn't it? How much wood do we have? Uh, 32. So if we can get a lot more wood, we could start building some fortifications, I think. Like fences. Barbed wire would be good to start off with, I guess. It hinders and injures the infected that try to pass through it. So random barbed wire around the places so we can get some proper wooden walls built would be good. Brick walls. Oh, we got fortified walls as well, but we haven't um, researched it yet. Medical key. Okay. Start research. Um, let's send a squad over to... The research center. Let's do it. F2. So it's the F keys for changing game speed. Good to know. Yeah, if we try and get a lot more wood. We have a lot of brick as well. Maybe we should build a brick wall. Like, can we build brick? Um, so a metal, a metal gate with a brick wall. I think that'd be good. If we can do that. And then brick wall. Can we attach a brick wall to it? Yes, we can. Good. So I don't think brick is used for much else at the moment. So if we can do that. Um, so Another metal gate. It's for access from this side. There are more walls. I know we haven't got enough brick to do all this, but at least if we set out a plan, it's a good start, right? It's going to cost us a lot, but it'll be worth it. <laughs> There we are. We have a plan. We just need to deconstruct a lot more buildings. <laughs> can we get a brick from these? Yes, we can. Good. So deconstruct all these buildings along here. Right. Survive till morning. Time sunrise, 6.19. Oh, crap. Yeah, uh, the watchtower should have this. No problem. Good job, Watchtower. I think that is a pretty good starting base then once we get the wall finished. Another one incoming. Definitely don't have enough brick to do it all, I know that, but we'll get it. Oh. Hello, everybody. A lot of work to do today. 
Finish, you know, finish off the antenna. Okay, the HQ. Sir, the people have reported hearing a lot of noises coming from underground. They're afraid that it could be infected moving through the sewers and tunnels. We need to bolster our defenses and be Ooh. ready to attack from within, too. Uh, let's prepare. Not important. We'll be ready. Hello there. Build an antenna. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Chief, the antenna is now operational. Let's broadcast an invitation as a test. Or just call the squads back to HQ. Invitation, I think. Okay. Let's start broadcasting. Send an invitation or call back your squads. Invite. All survivors. This is an infection-free zone. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Join us. Yes, join us. We need more workers. Join us. <laughs> Wait, the gate has guards as well. Oh, that's cool. Oh dear. It'll be good when this wall is finished. Oh, but since the gate is finished... Ah, okay, there's already people in it. We need to get more weapons, though. Anna. Don't have enough. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Say, so, so, squad in the morning, when it's safe. It's gonna go and raid the uniformed services place to see if we can get some weapons. And get a pistol for this place. Weapons and ammo. And riot gear would be nice too. What time sunrise? 6.45. How many resources do we need to finish all these walls? Is it winter yet? Okay, it's morning now. Oh, no, it's not. Nearly morning. There we go. You're the ones with the car. Nope. Where's my squad with the car? Oh, no. Chief, you won't guess what happened. The very first challenge has been born in our zone. As much as it fills people with hope and joy, it's also a huge responsibility. We need a place where our kids will grow and learn. This is urgent. Let's build a kindergarten. We'll build a kindergarten. Let's raise kids the best we can. We're on the move. We're missing resources. When we're trying to get the resources, we'll get there. More medical supplies in there. And then back to base. We're on the move. Go on, find some firearms. Okay, so research. Can we build a kindergarten or do we have to research it? Uh, kindergarten. Let's repurpose a building for that. Um, maximum of staff, one. <laughs> Three and eleven, two. Well, it doesn't need to be big, does it? We only got one child at the moment. Do we find any weapons? Doesn't look like we did, actually. Receiving. Clear. Roger. Hmm. We found ammo, but no actual weapons. Damn. Look at the walls coming along. Clear. We have people who are not working. Anybody homeless? Nope, we're good. So let's get these buildings knocked down while we have people to spare. We finished construction. Okay. 
Get this wall finished. We really need some weapons though. Operator. Car's nearly full. So we have quite a bit of ammo at the moment, no weapons. We need to repair the gate as well. This is a priority. From sunrise, uh, sunset, 1711. So we have a massive amount of time. God, there's got to be some police station or something nearby. We can, uh, with lots of teaching facilities up there. Somewhere we can get some weapons from. Roger. So a petrol station. Petrol station. A parking fuel canister. There. Two up there. It's quite far away though, isn't it? Do you know any closer? Stop working. On there. Start winding down. Research complete. Medical gear. Ready for action. Okay, so tomorrow we look out. We go looking for weapons. All squads return to base. And then we go into a new night. So, med bay. It's 0.8 wood per 100 meters cubed and 0.3 metal per meter cubed. We are med bay, this one. Because these buildings are quite small, aren't they? Too small. That, that could do for now. I wonder if civilians will work within the boundary of the walls because it'd be like a safe zone, even at night. Oh, it's a s decent sized hold there. We've gone. Oh. oh no, the medical facility. Go, go, go. Run the hold over in the car. <laughs> we need backup. Definitely need some defenses down here. We'll build a tower. There are some infected around here. Uh Metal tower? I uh, wouldn't one, because it's behind the wall, it should be okay. Wooden tower there. Our building's under attack. They're demolishing the wall. Roger. Back inside HQ. Ah, so that little icon means they're inside. I only just got that. <laughs> no workers. Um. Oh, civilians made it. To the gate. There we are. Wasn't sure if they would then. They just legged it in night. I wouldn't expect them to do that. It's good that they have, so they can react to situations, but. Yeah. Could have been a close call. Right. Car squad. Operator, do you see these clouds? I've never seen such a big storm. Sky's so dark, the infected might be able to walk in the clouds' shadow during the day. Ooh, we, we don't want that. Okay, so you guys stay here. While they're deconstructing the buildings just in case. And I need you lot to go get some weapons. That's a good Going point. There. Let's stay on guard. Come on, find some weapons. We need some weapons. 
once you've found or haven't found what you need back to HQ. Come on, don't be in. Oh good, there's no, uh, no zombies in the building. No infected. They are roaming around though in daytime. You have 22 wood. Yeah. One of our guys One just our got, guys wounded. got wounded. Badly. We can really use some protective gear. Kevlar, steel, reinforced plastic, whatever keeps us alive. Let's find some. You're right. I'm trying to find some. Hopefully there's some in this building. Waiting orders. How do you equip squads with stuff? Um... Squad resources. I found pistol and a shotgun. Ready for action. Instruction ready. H for home. Okay. Well, the wall is coming along nicely. That needs repairing. So our brick supply looking like 47. Still not too bad. Where is squad? Reporting. Nope, not that squad. Okay. Are oh, they coming back? Running out of resources. We need to finish getting this stuff. We need those weapons. See if anybody will join us. To all survivors, this is an infection free zone. We provide food and shelter, safety and security. Infected incoming! Join us. Will anybody join us? Infected incoming! Yep, they, they're keeping their distance. We're okay. You guys need to go back and get those weapons. Roger. Should be safe enough in a vehicle. That's where we got stored. Some some meals. Two medical supplies, seven tools. You guys go down there. So our section wall isn't finished yet. Oh, you need to pick up us in there. You need to get this stuff before you come back. <laughs> Like a tank. Some kind of bulldozer or a tank, maybe. Roger that. Roger that. Move. Be careful. On my way. There we go. That's all the weapons. That's what we needed. Roger. Waiting orders. Going there. There are some infected around here. Oop, incoming. Now, how do I give these? Do they just automatically get like two weapons? I wonder. I have a shotgun there too. 
Can we give him a shotgun? No. Can we give these a shotgun? Oh, that's a big horde. Horde eliminated. There are some infected around here. That is a big horde. Quick, the house. Tense moment. Tense moment. Come on. Oh, so you got this. So gate is fully um, stocked up on weapons now. We run them over. <laughs> nice. That did work. You can run them over. Excellent. I guess squads just to go in the watchtower as well. No. This has been a very busy night for attacks, hasn't it? From sunrise. 7.06, quite late. They all out ammo. Roger. So if they go back to HQ, can they restock? Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Ah yes, okay. So how would I go about changing their weapon then? Give them a shotgun instead. Do I just drag it to How do I make Waiting these guys orders. pick up a shotgun? I want to give these. Receiving. Hmm. Yeah, if you um, if you guys know how to change the weapons your squad has, please let me know. Well, these are protectors. These they have nothing. It's almost morning. Morning, everybody. There we go. Safe again. Somewhat. Right, we need to go and get some more weapons and protection. So there's... it was this way, wasn't it? Sure it was over here somewhere. Ah, there. Let's do it. It's a bit of a trek, so hopefully it'll be okay. There's rather squad. Uh, you go search these buildings here. Reporting. 
Hopefully there's a lot of resources in here. Ready for action. No zombies. We haven't come across any yet, that's good. Come on, finish the wall. No more to find. Building adapted. We finished construction. We're missing resources. Missing resources. Bricks, maybe? We're a bit low on bricks, a bit low on wood too. Um we get wood from these? You need to do a bit in our lot. Okay, so if we make a work zone for wood there. What have you guys found? Two pistols and some ammo. Nice. Stop working. Start winding down. Another shotgun. No more to find. I'll load up the car and get home. On my way. Ready for action. Let's so Kay has returned to HQ. I have to remember that. It's now dark. So you need to hurry up. No workers in the tower. Oh, can't have that. <laughs> we need workers in the tower. Our Definitely need all these towers and things uh, manned. One. It's quite night. Sunrise is six forty five. Still in bed? Get up and off your duty. <laughs> Okay, do we have any more places the we could raid for weapons? Oh, they didn't finish this place, did they? Oh. We're on the move. They did. Going there. Okay, so raid that place and then go into the sports shop, get some medical supplies. Some food back to HQ. On my way. On my way. Operator. Another pistol. Won't go amiss, that's for sure. Operator. Going there. Construction ready. Ooh, medical supplies, nice. Operator. Out of bricks. And we'll hopefully resolve that soon. So let's uh, gather bricks from there. And gather bricks from there. Let's do it. No civilians out of work. Good. Sir, we've encountered a group of people Ooh. willing to join us. Welcome on in, everybody. Send them in. Six new group members. Clear. Take all the help we can get. Let's do it. To all survivors, 
This is an infection-free zone. We provide food and shelter, Going safety there. and security. Join us. Get those buildings demolished, and then we can hopefully finish our wall. There's nothing left. There's nothing left. Building clear. Let's do it. Let's search all these buildings, make sure there's no uh, risk. Search done. And just like that, it is nighttime. All squads return to base. All squads return to base. Well, there we go, everybody. That's our first look at Infection Free Zone. Let me know what you think in the comments. And did, if you did like the video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And a subscribe to the channel would be amazing as well. Um, if you want me to do another video on Infection Free Zone as sort of a Let's Play series, if this video gets, say, five likes, I'll continue it. Nice low number. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye, everybody, for now.